guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we have another simple project to show you. It's a combination of shelf mounting on the whole, uh, shoes, a cupboard assembling, and also some other bits that need to be done uh, as part of the project. But uh, I don't know if uh, you already subscribed to our channel, but if you did, probably you saw how we did the decorating of the house. How, for instance, we split in two different colors uh, the technique we use to paint this hole and also how we did the tiling, how we did wallpaper. So check our painting and decorating section of uh, the channel and you will be able to see how we did uh, this job. But for today, for this project, we no further ado, let's get started. So in here we have uh, our first uh, shelf that need to be uh, uh, mounted on the hole. Uh, uh, the client already gave me the reference where uh, the height that should be so we know exactly where to put to fit it but uh, I want to show you something also you know on the on the box it says not to use a knife so always follow the instructions you're gonna use the scissors because with the knife you don't know where to cut where you go deep so we just use the scissors to open the box So it has to be in the middle of the hole. And uh, for this uh, for this project, what you need, uh, I show you the um, the tools that you will need for for the project to do the job properly. Uh, for this project, what you will need as tool will be uh, a spirit level uh, to uh, to check that uh, where you will be throwing or your shell will be straight. You need tape measure. You need a, a, a screwdriver, not just to, uh, to dig holes. Uh, you need a, a hammer. But most importantly also for safety, you need, a, a, this is a, for safety measures, a detector, you know, to detect the, where you're gonna throw. They doesn't have any wire, metal, or electricity. Um, it's for, for safety measures. So you're gonna need one of these uh, to check where you're gonna throw. Um, yeah, and uh, you also need a hammer, uh, which is uh, always one of the main two. The shelf is 80, is 80 meter, uh, centimeter. So and the hole is uh, 1.6 uh, meter wide so it's a half of it so we need to uh, get uh, in between the two holes 30 uh, uh, yeah we need to get between the two holes I was, I was just thinking there <laughs> we need to uh, get between the two holes uh, 40 centimeters uh, because the shelf is 80 so 40, 80 and 40 uh, you have your 1.6 uh, uh, meter wide so this is what we're going to do yeah, we did our marking now we can uh, we can start uh, preparing the hole to uh, to do the, the, the to through the hole. But before, let's detect where we're gonna draw that there's no metal in this area or electricity uh, in this area. Uh, you can see here we have uh, electricity or metal in this area. So we want through there. So in this area is fine, but when you reach here, you see you have some uh, uh, this uh, beep continually uh, according to uh, the device. 
is a uh, is a metal. If most electricity, uh, you will have uh, the beep 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 uh, noise. But we know for sure that uh, there is a is a metal. So we won't draw there. We're gonna draw somewhere here in the middle between the two. So here and somewhere here because we know this area doesn't have any electricity. So or any metal. So we're gonna draw here and, and there, but not on the corner here. Now we have a reference where we're gonna um, the, the 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 chef we we we, we sit. So uh, it's a straight line we drew. We need to. Uh, you will be like this exactly, and then it will be like that. And uh, according to the, the manufacturer, um, the gap in between, because it's an 80 uh, centimeter board, the gap is between uh, 50 and 60. And we just did uh, 55, so which is fine. Uh, always in the middle, you know. They say 50, between 50 and 60, I take uh, 55. So, yeah. It's a way of go safely, so yeah. So we need to check that this side is right. Yeah, uh, it's right. Uh, very good. So yeah, it's right. And now we can uh, we can position the second screw and then fix the, the shelf on top. Our second shelf will be uh, will be here. Uh, yeah, I already have the reference where that should uh, that should be. It will be a bit uh, zigzagging uh, like this. The first one uh, like that, and the second one a bit like this. So this is how we're gonna fix it. Let's do that now. But first of all, we need to check the area also. You know that there is no wire, metal, electricity, things like that, uh, for safety measures. So you can see in this area is safe to walk because there is nothing here. So you can draw everywhere here, anywhere is fine. So there is no metal, no electricity, no no power. Okay. doing now just uh, is just to make the reference where we're gonna draw and also to, uh, to check that everything is uh, is very straight so this is what we did now we have to remove this and uh, do that properly 
monitoring and the fixed cap properly on the road. The job here is completed. I just want to show you uh, guys that everything we did was uh, very straight before moving to the other part of the job. And the job is the same with the one on top. We already checked it and it's also straight. The next job we need to do is to fix the mirror on the hole. But before that for safety measure as always, we check that there is no power, uh, electricity or uh, metal on the row where we're gonna draw so this is what we are checking so we did a quick calculation for uh, the dimensions of the row and the mirror uh, the row is 110 centimeter wide and the mirror is 75 centimeter wide so, and the client wanted that to be in the middle. So that means we have a 35 uh, that we have to split in two. So we have a 70, 70, 70 and a half on each side that we need to, uh, uh, the mirror has to fit in. I can just show you that it's also very straight and right in the middle. So at this stage the mirror is also uh, done and uh, just one remaining job left to be done which is uh, the shoes cabinet and uh, this is what we're gonna do next. So guys this is um, the shoes cabinet. We need to uh, uh, assemble. Um, but first we need to, uh, to unbox it. And we decided to do that outside. We have more, more space, so we're gonna do that outside. It's, uh, and also we can breathe fresh air. So let's unbox the uh, the furniture and then start assembling it. So everything has been unboxed, and we have uh, a our board there, uh, we have the instructions also there, and we have the, the screws and pieces that we need to start uh, uh, mounting. So let's get started with this, uh, with this job too. Now the, this piece, I think, for now, is uh, it's not completed, but uh, we need to put that aside and uh, continue mounting the, the small pieces, and then we put them together after that. And the instructions 
always mentioned that uh, to use the manual uh, screwdriver. Uh, just avoid the electric screwdriver because it's powerful. It may damage the wood. So we follow the instructions by using the manual one. And because we bent a lot uh, while walking, it's better to get to get um, the knee pad so that uh, you know you, you walk uh, straight to avoid pain in, the, in your back. Uh, instead, of, instead of walking walking like this, so it's not good for your for your back for long time. This is also done. We need to put up the side to see uh, where exactly that goes and okay, continue, uh, continue assembling these pieces. Let's put up the side. We need to bring these two pieces together now. This is done, we need to put that again aside and then keep working on the other pieces. But I think uh, we need to do the fit now. Checking the, the manual, we need to do the fit. Now the fit are done. Uh, now we need to do the top. But we need to shift it or lift it. In one piece, you can see if we lift it. Now we need to do the doors of uh, the, the cupboard. So let's do it now. So this is the first one. Uh, shelf have been done. And now we need to... Uh, the last piece is the door. We have to do the door and then the job will be completed. And then we fit them uh, uh, to, the, to the cupboard and then the job will be completed. So let's fix the door now. First one is done. Uh, first door. That will uh, fit into the, the cupboard. And then we need to do this uh, three times. This is the first one. Now our three doors are done. Now we need to uh, put them together now. The project is not completed. Uh, we had a little of course difficult to, uh, to fit that in, but uh, we just need to find the right way how to do it. But now it's, uh, it's done. So, yeah, the project is not completed. We'll show you how you look inside, where in the place that this will be. So guys, this is how the shoe cabinet look. This is the final product. 
a place where you can store all your shoes. Thanks for watching the video. The project is now completed. We hope you enjoy watching it and maybe learn something. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you want to, uh, to see how we paint at the place, uh, for instance, splitting the holes in two different colors, the technique we use, the tips we gave, uh, to uh, how, we, how to do that professionally and uh, nicely, check our painting and decorating section of uh, the channel and uh, you'll be able to, uh, to see the techniques we use to, to pick the place. And also remember to, to subscribe, give us a like, and hit the notification button so you won't miss any of our videos. So thanks again for watching, and see you for the next one. Thanks, bye.